What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video where today we have a product review. This is my first product review I've ever done from an official company. This was actually sent to me by Quack Quack, which is a company who has designed this USB type C hub. And it's actually very, very useful. We're about to break this whole entire review down. But first, I just want to start out by saying I was not paid by Quack Quack to make this review. They just simply sent me this product to try out and do a review on. So let's go ahead and check out what's in the box here and break it all down, you guys. I'm so excited. Welcome to TC Tech. So this is the box. It's the GN30H here. Type-C USB hub, RJ45 card reader adapter. This product actually comes in four colors. They sent me the space gray version. Honestly, that's the version that I would prefer. So we open up the box here and we have this lovely, lovely black box, but let's get past the lovely black box and we actually have the Quack Quack USB Type-C hub right here. It's trapped in this lovely little foam that we can just pop out right here and push it out like a little card. And here we have the Quack Quack, which we'll get more in depth into in a second. It's got a really nice aluminum finish and it's got just such a nice, simple design. But looking still in the box, there's a little secret under department here with an interesting choice to include, which is this little bag. It's one of those little furry bags that you put like dice in or put little products in. And we can actually fit the Quack Quack right into the little bag. Yep, put your quack quack in the bag. Pull it right out there. Perfect little fit. Kind of a nice little addition here. And then of course we have the bottom of the barrel which is the user manual. I'm actually curious if there's anything funny in this little manual. Let's check it out. Usually some of these that come from overseas have some funny stuff in them. So far, I mean, I gotta give them, I gotta give them an A or B so far. I mean, their English is about as good as I would make it. Quack Quack provides all our customers 12 months warranty from the date of purchase. Hey, that's kind of nice. So if your Quack Quack burns itself down, or if it breaks, you can get a new one. That's as simple as it gets. You got your guarantee, you got your several languages, you got your user manual, good job. Good, good job. As someone who's constantly filling all the ports on my computer with swapping out SD cards for my 3DS and camera, plugging in my iPhone to charge it, having gaming get-togethers and plugging several USB-powered controllers, whilst moving large video files to hard drives, I can definitely say I'm always in need for more ports. With USB Type-C being a fairly new standard in the technology world and devices starting to include the port, more companies are looking forward and using USB Type-C to make slimmer devices by cutting out the fat ports like traditional USB and going in favor of dongles like this so that users can choose when to have port accessibility. My laptop happens to have a USB Type-C port that can handle most of the functions of the GN30H. Though video output doesn't seem to be one of the supported functions for my laptop and I won't be looking at the Ethernet port either, so that part of the review will not be included. This device in particular was designed for the new MacBook Pro which only has a USB Type-C port and heavily relies on this sort of hub for port access, SD card slots, and even video output. It inputs 2.4 amps and outputs 500 milliamps of bus power or 1.5 amps of self-powered. So let's get into the specs of the GN30H. It comes with three USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD card slot, a regular SD card slot, a gigabit RJ45 Ethernet port, a USB Type-C port for powering the device or connecting another USB Type-C device to it, and an HDMI port capable of outputting 4K video with the help of the USB power supply. This USB Type-C hub comes in a delightful lightweight, but good feeling aluminum housing with plastic on the front and back. The cool thing about USB Type-C is that the end is actually reversible, so when you're trying to plug it in to a computer or a tablet, it goes both ways and you don't have to fight or hassle with it. Now without putting any additional power into the hub, I was able to charge a USB powered 5200 milliamp hour power bank, charge my iPhone, and access a micro SD card. But as soon as I plugged in another SD card or my USB 3.0 hard drive, other devices started to seize working and the hub would start to make a weird screeching sound until something got unplugged that fit with its current abilities.
Another setup I managed with no additional power was my Samsung Media Microphone, a wired Xbox 360 controller, charging the same power bank, and two SD cards plugged in with no problems and everything functioning accordingly. If you plug in lower power devices, you can thus plug in more until you actually need an additional power source. Now let's talk about power sources. This does not come with an additional USB Type-C power cord in case you actually do need more power, so you have to get that on your own. But using my own supplied cable, I was actually able to have a hard drive plugged in, two SD cards, a power bank charging, my iPhone charging with no hiccups or odd noises from the hub. But be aware, this device does get really hot though. When actively transferring files from an SD card, my iPhone and a hard drive simultaneously, everything was quick and snappy and I didn't notice any slowdowns plugged into power of course. You can find many USB type C hubs on Amazon and other online websites with just a USB port or two and it can vary with its amount of ports, but for this device with its versatile amount of ports, you're looking at $69.99 which is actually very reasonable and is competitive with its rivals if you just look what's available on the market right now. This sleek hub will not dissatisfy with its high quality casing and quick speeds for transferring files or charging devices. This device has been integrated into my daily recording and computer setup and it's freed so many ports and it's making file transfer so much easier than they need to be when I'm working with my 3DS and my camera. Not to mention the fact that all these ports I previously was using on my laptop are now freed up which means I can have even more ports to work with. Overall, I think Quackquack's USB Type-C power hub is actually pretty successful and if you're in the market looking for a USB Type-C hub, well definitely give that a consideration because it is a good quality hub and I've already definitely integrated it into my workspace and it just makes it so much easier instead of having to have all these cords surrounded around my computer I can just boop, plug that into one little spot on the computer have everything going centrally into this device and just the fact that it has a micro SD card and a regular SD card spot I mean, that just makes the world freaking go round for me because I'm constantly just using my 3DS and my camera, constantly using micro SD card adapters and micro SD cards and just regular SD cards. So to be able to have three additional USB ports, which brings my total up to six, and to be able to have three in total with my computer SD card slots, that just makes everything so much simpler and the $70 would definitely be worth it to be able to have that streamlined workflow that this brings. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this review. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I will catch all of you guys in the future videos. Peace out, crew.